Hello and welcome to another tier list video. Today we're taking a look at insects. Now I didn't choose all species and types of insects because if I did that, we'd be here for hours. So I just looked at some of the most popular ones, ones I think everyone is gonna be familiar with. So starting us off, we have ants. Ants really aren't too much of a bother for me. I don't live anywhere where we have fighting ants or fire ants nearby, so I don't have to put up with those. So the only ants I deal with are the ones you see outside or the ones you're going to see if you leave food on the ground in your house and uh, they show up. So overall, they're not too much of a nuisance for me. Don't really bother me too much. So we'll put them in the B tier. That might seem high for some of you, but compared to the other insects on this list, they're, they're not that much of a threat to me. Up next, we have bees. Now, I love bees. Whether we got honeybees, carpenter bees, they're great. They pollinate the flowers. They make honey. I love honey. And as far as stinging goes, you're almost never going to get stung by a bee unless you're really pissing it off for some reason. So for that reason, we're going to be putting it in the S tier. Up next, we have butterflies. Probably the prettiest insect, I would say, is on this list, especially monarch butterflies. Um, they're not an annoyance at all. I don't can't say I've ever been annoyed or bothered by a butterfly. They're nice to look at. They're pollinators. Um, they're pretty good, but they don't do too much as far as look pretty and pollinate a little bit, so we'll just slot them into the A tier there. Up next, we have centipedes. I would say probably the most disgusting looking insect on this list is centipedes. Um, fortunately, I don't live somewhere where I have to deal with a lot of venomous or biting centipedes. Uh, because those are absolutely terrifying and honestly, I really don't see that many centipedes in general But when you do see them and you see all their legs moving, they are Disgusting they're gross get them out um, They would be F tier, but the only reason they're not gonna be F tier is because I really hardly ever see them So I don't complain about them too much. So that's the only reason they'll be in the D tier Up next we have dragonflies. I personally love dragonflies. I think they look cool they eat mosquitoes, they eat gnats, which are two of the most annoying bugs for me. So for those reasons, Dragonfly is going to slot itself into the S tier very comfortably. Up next, we have flies. Now, I think of three main types of flies. We got house flies, we got deer flies, and we got horse flies. House flies don't really bother me at all. Sure, maybe they're a slight annoyance, hard to kill, um, but they're really not that bad. But then we have deer flies and horse flies, and... When you get bit by those, it's painful, and it itches, and it stings, and it feels horrible. D tier. Up next, we have gnats. Now, I hate gnats. I mean, they don't really do a whole lot. I've never been bitten by a gnat, although I know there are some species of biting gnats. But you know, when it's the summer, and it's an overcast day, maybe kind of shady, and you're walking along, and you just got swarms of gnats flying around your head, there's nothing more annoying. I can't stand gnats, especially when they fly into your eye. That's painful. F tier. Up next, we have grasshoppers. Now, grasshoppers are really not that annoying. Um, they just kind of hop around, fly around. Don't really have too many complaints. But grasshoppers can turn into locusts. And locusts are disgusting. And they're horrible because they eat everything. So we're going to put them in the C tier just because of the locust issue. Up next, we have ladybugs. Ladybugs, you know, they look kind of cool, I guess, look kind of interesting. They don't really do too much, that's annoying. They don't like bite, they're not toxic. Uh, really, the only thing is maybe they're a slight annoyance to have in your house, and they kind of smell a little bit if you crush them, so don't crush them. You know, just get some duct tape, stick them up, throw them away. But overall, they're really not that bad. We'll put them in the B tier. Up next, we have mosquitoes. You know, if I were to tell you everything I didn't like about mosquitoes, this video would be an hour and a half long. But bottom line, they bite you, makes you itch, they spread diseases like malaria, um, and they contribute almost nothing besides feeding dragonflies. Mosquitoes, easy F tier. If we had a tier below F tier, mosquitoes would be there for sure. Up next, we have wasps. Uh, terrifying, and they will just sting you for no reason, and it doesn't feel good. They don't do a whole lot. Bees do their jobs, but just better. Plus wasps don't even make honey. Um, wasps, we're putting you in the F tier. Up next, we have spiders. Now spiders are a tricky one because there are some that are not dangerous, that are pretty cool, that eat things like mosquitoes, you know, centipedes. They eat a lot of those other more annoying insects. And so there's a lot of good things about spiders in that sense. But spiders are also gross and getting bit by spiders is pretty brutal. 
especially if you get bit by something like a black widow which is pictured here. I've never been bit by a dangerous spider, but I've been bit by plenty of spiders, and you know, you just get that itchiness. But it's not like a mosquito bite where when you itch it, it feels better. You itch it, and it just feels more uncomfortable. So, spider bites, not fun, but they do eat some annoying insects, so for that reason, we're putting them in the C tier. Up next, we have praying mantis. Uh, praying mantis are pretty cool. I think they're one of the sweetest insects. If you've never seen a video of a praying mantis eating something like a fly, I recommend it. It's pretty gruesome, but it looks pretty cool. I'm going to be putting these in the A tier, because they do some good things, but mostly they just look cool. Up next, we have moths. Probably the dumbest insect on this list, I would imagine. I mean, 99% of the time when you see moths, they're literally just flying at a light over and over and over again for like hours on end. And uh, that's really all I see them do. I've never been bothered by one, never been bit or attacked by a moth. Uh, so they're really not that annoying. They just fly at lights all day. So just because of that, we'll put them in the B tier. Well, that's my list. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and let me know your thoughts below.